Hey everyone, another Creole Parametric self-isolation bonus video. Let's take a look at the flatten quilt command, which you can get to from the services overflow menu. And from what I hear, one of the biggest reasons that people use this command is for laying out the flat patterns of cloth that might go over a component such as a seat like this. To use the flatten quilt command, click on it. And then in the dashboard, you'll be prompted to select the surfaces that you want to flatten out. I'm using the control key to select four of them from here. And you can see that from the references tab, there is a collector that you could use for selecting them. The next thing that you need to specify is an origin point for the flattening. You can either click in this collector in order to activate it, or you could use the right mouse button and then choose origin point. And this first example, I'm gonna select a vertex in the model, and then it's going to use that point and then lay out the new surface, tangent to the surface at that location. Let's hit the check mark. And you can see the flattened version of the surface. Let's go back and edit definition of this. I want to show you one other option that you can select. If you go to the References tab, you could select another surface to define the parameterization. Let me say that again. Parameterization. Let's hit the check mark to understand what the par param I'm having a rough time with that word parameterization is uh, all your different surfaces sort of have like an XY grid that is associated with them If you want to see an example of this you can go to the analysis tab there is a mesh surface command if I hold down the control key and select a bunch of these surfaces you can see a mesh that is placed on here which again is sort of like an XY grid on here uh, actually I think they use the letters U and W or something like that for the parameterization variables. Anyhow, let's close out of here. Let me repaint the screen so that's no longer selected. And let's take this first surface and hide it for a moment. I'm going to redo the flattening of those four surfaces, but using a different point. Let's choose flatten quilt, select the surfaces one, two, three, four again. And then let's activate the origin point. And this time I will select the point up here. And so we're going to get a surface that looks a lot similar to the original surface. But they can have different areas. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to bring back the original quilt. Let's go to the analysis tab and then measure area. And I'll select the first surface. And we can see that this has an area of... 635.46 square inches. All right, let's remove that one again, 635.46. Hey, let's select this one over here. Hey, this is 636.020. So the selection of the origin point actually has an effect on the resulting geometry. Let's close out of there and hide these two quilts. Take a look at a, another few examples on here. I'm going to turn on my datum point visibility. Here I have a datum point there that I can use. Once again, I can choose to flatten quilt. And this time I'm going to try to select all the surfaces in here. And then activate my origin point collector and select this datum point. And it's cranking and it's trying to work on here. And... You can see that it actually was able to flatten out all those different surfaces by using that as the location point. Let's take a look at flattening using one of the other vertices. Again, surfaces, flatten quilt. Let me query select so I get all the different surfaces. And this time, if I use as the origin point, say this vertex over here, it's cranking away. And we are not getting a preview in this case. If I try to hit the check mark over here, we see that it's getting a failed feature. So this is another example that what you're selecting as your origin point can have an effect 
on whether this is going to work or not. And let's say that you were trying for some reason, you needed to use that point over there as the vertex point. You might wanna try a little divide and conquer strategy. Rather than trying to do all the surfaces, you might have to do the other surfaces on their own. So for example, I could go to flatten quilt and say, hey, let's use this surface and then I'll use my origin point, a datum point that's located halfway along the length of that edge. That one is good. And let's go to flatten quilt and do it with the surface on the other side. Activate the origin point, select this datum point over here. Hit the check mark or middle mouse button and Let's select the original quilt over here and hide it. And so that way, you know, if we're having trouble. Hey, maybe do the other different portions as their own separate features. And that would give you sort of the flat cutout that you could use if you were making cloth to go over that seat. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.